Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration of how to loosen and remove rusty bed bolts. For this truck, I need to lift the box off in order to replace the cab corner. However, you may simply need to remove the box, or you may need to tilt the box up on the one side for accessing the fuel pump, which is much easier than dropping the fuel tank or cutting a hole in the bottom of your box. Here I am working with a 1998 Ford Ranger short box, which has a total of six bed bolts. If you have a box liner like this truck, you will need to remove that first. Remove any fasteners that it may have, open the tailgate, and then lift it up from the center to retract the sides. When there is enough movement on the sides, retract the sides then. You'll most likely need a help in hand to remove the box liner. Now knowing exactly where those bed bolts are, you can use the location to determine where exactly they are underneath on the frame. Unfortunately, you can't always have direct access to those bed bolts underneath. You should see the bolts coming through the frame, which fastens to a clip. I've seen these clips have a few different names, such as bolt clip, J clip, C clip, U nut, speed clip, or body clip. Using a wire brush, clean up the exposed threads. These threads will be going back through the threaded portion of the clip, so if they start to bind, you can either break the clip or break the bolt. A hand brush works just fine, but power tools can also be used. Once satisfied, apply a penetrating oil. Moving on to the other exposed bolt, this truck has been oil sprayed at some point in its life, so some of the metal is protected. Unfortunately, in other areas, it has worn off due to being driven down gravel roads. Cleaning off the dirt, we can see the threads are almost like new here. Penetrating oil will be used as well, just to be safe. I'm not able to get access to the other three bolts, as two are hidden behind the bumper framework, and the other is hidden behind the fuel tank. If you are working close to a fuel tank, be mindful about sparks, so using a hand brush is best. While this truck did have a box liner, the bolts are filled with some debris. Use a brush, pick, nail, or even a wire brush to clean out the heads of the fasteners. If they're not clean, we may not have good contact for the Torx bit, risking the chance of stripping the head. If that happens, you'll either need to cut, grind, or drill the bolt. Blow out any debris, and even insert the bit, which may help loosen up debris. This truck uses T55 bits. You can use an impact, however, not everyone has access to one, and I don't have impact Torx bits, so I'm using regular hand tools. A hand impact can also be used, I've shown this tool in previous videos. This I will be tackling just with a Johnson bar. A Johnson bar allows for more leverage. Don't use an extension as this can twist your pivot point and risk stripping the head of the fasteners. I do have a short adapter here, half inch to three eighths of an inch, so I'm able to use my three eighths drive Torx bits. Once the bolts have been broken free, work them back and forth, loosening and tightening them. This will reduce the chance of binding in the threads and allow for the rust or dirt to break up and drop out. You may need to go back underneath, apply more penetrating oil as needed. I managed to get these bolts free and up about a quarter inch. I will be leaving this overnight. Each of the bolts has penetrating oil applied to under the washers so it can work its way down into the threads of the clips. The next day I did tighten up the bolts a couple threads to help the oil work into the clips. Then I took my time and loosened them, using the same process as previously if they are binding and finally they are all removed with no broken bolts, clips, or damaged threads. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. And leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching.